I am really excited to welcome Alyssa Trahan back to the program. Uh, the singer songwriter hails from East Rochester, now spending most of her time in Nashville these days, but kind enough to spend a few minutes with us. Great to see you again. Great to see you. You know, I say again because you were on the show almost five years ago now. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think at that point, just kind of getting, th getting things going. And yeah. We're planning a move to Nashville and trying to kind of make this country music thing happen, right? Yeah. So where are we? What's happened? Well, I've been in Nashville about four years now. It was four years this past January, and honestly, I can truly say it's been crazy, mm -hmm. and I've been very, very blessed. I've done things that a lot of people wish to do someday. I've been very, I'm very thankful, very grateful for every opportunity I've gotten, and it's a wild ride, but I'm loving it. You've grown, haven't you? I mean, you continue to write music all the time, uh, and you're performing all the time as mm -hmm. well. Talk about how you've, how you've grown through these, th these years and maybe as you, how you've grown as a songwriter and a performer as well. Yeah, you know, one thing is that I've started co-writing a lot, which basically just means you're writing with other people because that's a big thing in Nashville. And at first I was a little afraid of that concept because I had always written by myself. Mm -hmm. And then as soon as I got to Nashville, I started writing with all these just incredible writers, artists, producers, everything my writing level just skyrocketed because I had to, you know, carry my own weight in the writing room. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when you're surrounded by just this incredible talent that's just so abundant in Nashville, you know, you kind of, you got to make sure you're on the same level as people. When you use that term Nashville, I think, you know, to make the, the sports analogy, it'd be like going from Rochester all the way to the New York Yankees. I mean, you're going right to the center of country music. Mm -hmm. It had to be overwhelming, but you found your foothold. You found a foothold there, haven't you? Yeah, you know, it was funny. One of the first days I was in Nashville, I was out getting coffee with someone there and Reba McIntyre walked by <laughs> and I was like, oh, <laughs> we're not in, in, not in Rochester anymore. No. This is insane. But yeah, it took a lot of getting used to and just like I mentioned, just how much talent there is in the talent level. Everybody you meet, your waitress, your bartender, your Uber driver, everyone is an incredible musician that could break at any moment, you mm -hmm. know? So it definitely took some getting used to, but now that's one of the things I love because I'm just constantly growing and pushing myself. So it's, it's been really great. I really love it. Uh, you do get to come home a few times a year and you perform as well. Uh, you've got a new song out uh, that we should be talking about because you're yeah. going to be playing it this week. Tell us about this song a little bit. So the song is called Memories Not Dreams. I wrote it with a couple very good friends of mine and the whole message behind the song is that, you know, life is short and you should go for the things you want while you can because you don't want to be looking back on your life thinking, oh, I wish I did this or what if I did this or man, I could have done more of this. I should have called this person. I should have taken this trip. And that's a big personal message for me because that's exactly what I was thinking before I moved to Nashville and a big reason I did it. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to be looking back and think, man, what if I did move to Nashville? What if, what if I took that step? Did I miss out on something great? So just the whole message behind the song is to live your life to the fullest. Uh, love the message. We should all be heeding it, that's for sure. You'll be playing at B-Side and Fairport uh, tomorrow, Red Jug uh, Pub in Brockport on the 27th, The Dinosaur on the 28th, Club Remedy in Farmington on the 29th. You love performing though, don't you? I mean, I, I can do. see it on your face in the videos. You really, mm -hmm. there's something that's, that's transformative about doing that, isn't there? Yeah, I mean, truly the stage has kind of become my second home and it, it really does feel like something happens when you step on a stage. It's like, okay, it's time, we're gonna perform. And it's, it's so much fun and I always look forward to every show, whether it's you know a stripped down acoustic set or a full band on a big stage, it's always so much fun. Well, we're delighted to spend a few minutes with you. Welcome back home Thank you. this week. Enjoy the performances. Uh, and, uh, you know, what can I say? Just continue success. Uh, you know, as you said, memories, not dreams. Keep making these memories in Nashville, and we'll enjoy them from Rochester. Thank you. Alyssa Trahan, everybody. Uh, if you want to check out her music, uh, we mentioned those performances this week. You can also find her Facebook page online. And I can vouch for the fact she's on Twitter as well, because I'm a follower. <laughs> if you missed any of this, it's on our site as well at rochesterfirst.com.